Okay, went and got a bunch of screwdrivers. I'm trying to get this out so I can actually get this threaded onto that and see how long that wire is. That wire looks like the right length, but I don't know that yet. I can't tell that yet. Okay, so let's take the parts out of it because there's a whole. Welcome back to uh, KNL Farms. I'm Ken. I hope this video finds you well. A bunch of plugs in the back, and I need two of these plugs because I'm going to try and mount it like that. You know, that looks good. Well, I can work with that, probably. Okay, and then but the first thing is. these two plugs out because the plug in the back and the one in the top I need in that receptacle box. Okay, so I need this one. And normally I just start them a little bit and then I'll get a wrench here in just a minute. Sorry, a screwdriver. That one didn't start correctly. That one's cross threaded right now. Okay. I need that one tightened up so water doesn't actually get into the box. And that one, yeah, that one's pretty good. And I need the box. Excuse me for just a minute. Okay. I need the box threaded on there. Get that pulled through a little bit. Yes, okay, all right, okay, so box and somehow I'm I may fasten this this piece of conduit to this upright because it's pretty steady, but I need room to get this handle up and down. Okay, so that looks pretty good there. I'll get a utility knife here in just a minute. See, see if I uh, put my pocket knife in my pocket because I'm going to lose that. And get a chili knife. down, ground, down, smiley, make a smiley face, you make a smiley face out of it, you always know the ground's pointing the right direction, turn it upside down, no smiley face, easier smiley face, the ground goes down, okay, so I'll probably put that in there, and then put this on there, and then screw it together, okay, so, but for right now, yeah, that'll work white black hot well it's not doesn't say black it says hot okay that'll work i can do that okay so right now i gotta cut some of that shielding off and if you're ever done the primary underground you know that the shielding kind of sucks a little bit but anyway let's let's try and see 
see if we can cut some of that off there that shielding oops and two things one is you want to stay and cut that but two is there's no no reason to get injured trying to take a piece of shielding off off of it so we kind of cut that a little bit yep 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 well, I see the ground I can see the ground and well you see I see the black on this side and I'll probably cut some of that shielding off there okay. but I got to find a roll of tape because I cut that there's there's two shieldings on here there's one on the outside and one on the inside and I cut the inside so I got to find some tape to insulate that a little bit there you go okay that's good see that well I, I can't imagine you can see that and then this ground of course the ground doesn't have a shielding the, the black or the hot wire is the one that is uh, the one you need to be concerned about but and uh, behind this ground is a white wire or the neutral wire. And neutral, you need to put some emphasis on caution. But for right now, I'm trying to get the ground out, and I'll go get a pair of pliers or a, a pair of uh, electrician pliers here in a minute. Okay, see so ground wire. And that ground wire should come out. Nope. Okay, so I'm just going to cut down that ground wire. Enough to get that out of there. Okay. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to try and cut some of that neutral wire off, the white wire, a little bit. Yeah, that's too heavy. That's too much. And I need some on the end, but and I'll try to take that shielding off there. A little bit. Okay, so I got the, no, yep, yeah, that, that'll work. That's weird, because the shielding on the neutral wire, white wire, is intact. I just cut some of the black wire, and I'll get a piece of tape, and then, okay, I'll get a piece. At the beginning of the video, you've seen me working on this outlet. And the uh, reason for this video, it's going to be a short one, is just to catch you up a little bit and explain some of the difficulties I had with this. I got a new mic because some of the, uh, especially when I'm in a windy condition, some of the audio is not as well as I'd like. So I'm, gonna, I'm just testing out that mic as one of the reasons for the video. And then uh, I bought this. It was, it's an out, outdoor cover. It come with a JFI receptacle. Bought it from the local rock store. Trying to get a uh, exhaust fan working, which I'll spin you here in just a little bit and show you that. But uh, this receptacle was basically a piece of garbage. I had, it, had to go get another one. I'll try and return this for my money back. But uh, um, I told you, I don't know if I showed you on the beginning of this video or not, but the reason for this was so that I could run the uh, exhaust fan and also so I could run a, a temporary heater system uh, so that we could expand our growing season. So let me spin you a little bit. And I'll show you that exhaust fan here real quick. Uh, sorry about the mess because it's still in construction. Uh, once I get this fan running, I'll go to outside, but that won't be on this video. I'll do that in another video. You should be able to capture the exhaust fan up on top. And uh, there's a little thermostat controller on it. And I'm going to spin that on, and I'll show you because I explained on a previous video. I wanted the ex exhaust fan up against this column so it didn't sit there and vibrate and make noise all the time. So let me try and start it.
and it's got a kind of a slow start on it but let me get it all the way revved up and you can actually hear it see with it hooked up to that column you don't have any vibration and hopefully that mic's picking it up that's part of the reason for the video it's got a controller which uh, I'm not much for figuring out the controller I have figured out how to turn it off, off and on and I've just got a cord ran for right now uh, temp cord and I just got the thermostat probe I should probably get that a little bit more lead you can see right in here I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not but it's 82 degrees in here uh, a fan speed right now it says 3 now I don't know if that'll be appropriate my, my wife is going to come in at a later date and she'll uh, she'll program this for me in fact the instructions are here somewhere and let me see if I can turn it back off I gotta scroll through the menu nope that's high lows there's the on on button Okay, turned it back off. So that was the uh, the last two videos I've done. The, the main purpose was to get that exhaust fan hooked up.